We're still using the same vehicle. We're going to do the research for the vehicle fuses in advance whenever possible. Don't count on the owner's manual being present in the vehicle. So we're not just identifying fuses, but we're also identifying where in the vehicle a particular fuse panel could be located. So it could be the airbag control module fuse. It could also be the DLC fuse, or perhaps it could be a fuse that is protecting a 12-volt accessory port we intend to use in the vehicle as a source of power. Whether it is the actual owner's manual or a PDF version, I'm going to look in the index for the section on fuses. In this case, page 201. So I'm going to look through the listed fuses in the owner's manual, looking for something with the word restraint in it, in this case, because that is a term that Ford uses. And eventually, I'm going to get over here and I'm going to see that fuse F86 protects the restraint system and the occupant weight sensor. So now that I've identified that fuse, I need to go over to the fuse map. And then in the fuse map, I can see that fuse F86 is in the far right column, the fourth one up from the bottom. And now I can compare this diagram to the actual fuse panel to help me identify fuse F86. I'm going to use the same repowering device to supply power directly to the ACM bypassing the ignition key. You will notice that there are two locations on the fuse socket adapter I can connect the repowering device to. One side will send power directly to the airbag control module and that's where I want to connect. The other side will send power into other areas of the vehicle's electrical system. This is the incorrect side. Usually there is no indication if you are on the correct side. However, if you are on the incorrect side, you might see some noticeable indications ranging from dash lights illuminating to door chimes to the radio playing music. I still have the ground wire of the repowering device connected to my door hinge bolt for my electrical ground. I also do not have the repowering device plugged into a source of power at this point. I've already connected the CDR interface to the vehicle using the data link connector or DLC. As you can see, the green light on the CDR interface is illuminated because I have good power in the vehicle. Power at the DLC port has nothing to do with the ignition key. Remember, normally the last step when using the CDR tool would be to apply power or turn on the ignition key, whatever the case may be. So in this case, I have the software ready to go with case comments and I'm ready to collect data. In this case, I'm using the car as a source of power for the CDR interface. I always need to make sure I use the same source of power for both the CDR interface and the ACM. For that reason, I need to connect the repowering device to a 12-volt accessory port in the vehicle. It must be one that is hot all the time, whether the key is on or not. There are several ways we could test this, but perhaps the easiest would be to use a phone charger that has an LED. If the light comes on, if the LED comes on when we plug in the charger, then we have power. And in this case, we do have power. You definitely want to be looking at the dash, listening, have someone looking at the dash when you apply power. In this case, I want you to listen as I plug in the power. Some type of motor is being powered up under the dash, and this means that I'm on the incorrect side. So I'm going to remove power before I do anything else. Now that power has been removed, I can pull the fuse block adapter out by leaving the wire attached, reverse it, and stick it back into the same socket. Now I should be applying power on the correct side of the fuse socket. 
Now that I've reversed the fuse block adapter, I'm going to reapply power by inserting the 12 volt plug into the accessory port. Remember, in this case, the ACM fuse also protects the occupant weight sensor, and this is where that indication would be on the dash. So look what happens when I plug in the power. The occupant module does a diagnostic and then after it does its diagnostic, it indicates the status of the front passenger seat, which in this case is on because I'm sitting in the passenger seat. I have now created a situation in which the ACM is receiving power, so I can click the collect ACM data icon. Ultimately, using a repowering device, I will have successfully collected data using in-car power, but without having the ignition key available.